My name is Engineer Nolfason Obadia Barongo, the MP for Bumachoge Borabu constituency in Kisi County. I am also the patron of the Borabu Foundation. I am privileged to be a father. I am married, but I also engage in business. The Borabu Foundation is anchored on three pillars. The main one is the education pillar, and then the health pillar, as well as community development. Under the education pillar, our focus is on mostly secondary school uh, students, few in the tertiary and colleges segment, and also universities. We lay special emphasis on completely orphaned children, children with single parents, and also children emanating from families with persons living with disability. Concerning health, as you may all agree, a healthcare has become out of reach of most households in my community. Most households don't have meaningful insurance policies or covers that they could call upon to be able to take care of their loved ones. The number of suicide cases have actually escalated. You also have a situation where um, people living with disability are not getting the required treatment because of stigmatization and also because of the belief that most of these issues are caused by superstition. You also have a situation where people don't have enough knowledge to be able to understand that these are conditions that could be handled by healthcare practitioners. Under the foundation, we are looking to uh, not only support extremely needy cases, but also roll out programs that will enlighten society so that we are able to strengthen preventive health care and minimize reactionary or uh, curative health care of our population. Under the community development pillar, we are looking to empower the youth as well as the women. Under the youth, as you may know, most of them are self-employed as border border operators. What we are looking to do is to offer them training around safety issues so that we might be able to reduce the number of accidents. We may also need to roll out programs around um, teaching them the effects of drug and substance abuse. We also want um, to be able to professionalize them into circles so that they can be able to um, understand what it means to um, you know, group themselves together and keep um, records of uh, their savings so that they can be able to access um, a wider pool of resources from micro lenders or from uh, organizations uh, from government that are geared towards social, uh, economic, uh, welfare development. The foundation organized a music concert in the constituency. This attracted a large pool of young and upcoming musicians who used that event as a platform to showcase their abilities in music. Under the foundation, we have organized football tournaments, which has actually attracted large viewership of mostly youthful people, which is advantageous because it removes them from self-destructive exposures and also gives them a platform also to showcase their abilities and talent, not only in participating in the sports themselves, but also uh, through offering their resources as organizers of those particular events. And the foundation looks into the future to give the young people these opportunities so that they can continue to test their abilities um, in project management, um, event organization, and other skills that um, these particular events may be able to open them to. My name is Edith Nyaboke, and this is where I live. These are my brothers. They are in grade four. And then this is the elder one. He's Meshak. And then this is Steve. We have been living here since 2019 without our mother. And then when we came here with our mom, she started working in a club. She was working in a bar. 
and then she worked there for from 2015 to 2019 and then she she was earning 2000 per month and the 1000 was not enough for for everything in the house you know she was the only one who was she was alone in the house so we decide she decided that she is going to look for a better job that she, maybe she could earn money that will provide for us enough and then that was how she left us our neighbors knew the story so they were helping us with food and other items that we needed to use and then that's how we we lived until I did my KCP in 2022 that was November and then when the results came out I had 353 marks and then when I had the, that marks I I was happy but then I just thought how would I even continue with my education when I don't have even have a mother and then uh, there was a person who came and then he took me to to a reporter who recorded my story and then it was aired out in a public television. After my story was aired out in the TV, Moshimua saw it and then he offered help. He has a foundation that is the Borabo Foundation and that's how I got my shopping, my and then they admitted me to the school that I was called, Kereri Girls, and that's where I, I study. I'm 16 years old right now. Previously, I was studying in Jaima Primary School, and I did my KCP from there, and I passed with 330 marks, and my mom struggled so much so that she can get school fees to take me to secondary school, and she was not able. She struggled up and down, but she couldn't get a school fees to, to take me to Magenge High School. My mom was being told that our MP Nolfaso Nobadia Barongo had an, a foundation by the name Bomachoge Borabu Foundation which was helping the, the children who have passed and they couldn't get enough school fees to go to an, an high school. So my mom, she applied, then I, I was taken to Magenge High School they paid for me school fees, they did for me shopping, which was required, and I joined my Form 1 there. Then, they are up to now, they are continuing paying for me school fees so that I can study until Form 4. I appreciate that. So may God bless you, our MP, Nolfason Obaria Barongo, and continue with the same, same same spirit of helping the needy children so that they can continue with their studies. I'm going to go to the house. 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 I'm going to go Bono <laughs> So, tunashukuru sana mwishmiwa Badia Barongo kwa hile foundation ya Boda Boda Mbae lituletea kama sisi wana Boda Boda wakati akianzisha kura kuna vile vitu alituambia na katufanyia Kwa mfano, alituambia kumba atatupatia viti kumi kumi kwa kila stage ambapo alitimiza. Pia akatuambia kwamba atatupatia elfu miyamoja ambazo alitupatia kwa ward yetu ya magenche. Sasa kama ward, hizo vitu alipatia 10, uh, tulikuwa stages uh, 17, akatupatia 170 chairs na akatupatia 100,000. The values that drive the Borabu Foundation are 
compassion, equality, inclusivity, transparency, and accountability. Our vision as the Borabu Foundation is to create a thriving and sustainable community where access to education, healthcare, and community development is available to everyone. Obviously, the Borabu Foundation is a young foundation. It just started last year. And in the last one year or so, we have been able to take 75 children who are struggling to raise school fees. For this foundation to be able to grow and to be able to have a wider impact, we cannot be able to do it alone. That's why I want to make a passionate appeal to you out of the kindness of your hearts to be able to spare anything that you could be able to afford. I will, for example, mention a pair of shoes for some of us may cost anywhere between 2,000 to 5,000. But we have had situations where a family just requires 200 shillings to be able to um, survive another day of a horrific hunger experience. So I just want to plead with all of us, whatever little you may be able to afford, put it aside. Walk with us this journey. Help us be able to transform our community. As they put it, when we all come together, great things happen. This is not only for me, it is also for you, and it is for all of us. May God bless you as your purpose to work with us this journey to transform our society. Thank you very much.